One of the interesting things that Lewis Naura does with Cozzy is that he has worlds within worlds within this quite short play. Uh, I noticed that the guide we were talking about the other day actually talks about concentric circles. And if you think of this as kind of the largest world, the outer ring, then that is 1971 Australia. And there are particular tensions and themes going on there. Within that world is the world of the asylum. And within that world is the world of the people conducting the play. And within that world is the world of um, the play itself. So now we're setting these things up so that we can see the things that are in common in these, um, in these worlds and also where there are contrasts between these worlds. So the first one that we start with is 1971 Australia. Now 1971 is notable because you've got the Vietnam War which has been going on and has started to become really starkly political. You've got radicalism where you've got young people, particularly university students, really rebelling against kind of old-fashioned concerns. You see this with um, Nick and I think it's Lucy, yes yeah, Lucy, um, fighting against their kind of bourgeois romanticism. But you still do have the issue about free love and fidelity. Even if you're being political, you still have a personal life and there still are you know sexual and relationship politics within that world is the world of the asylum now that's a noticeable world because while there's all this sort of freedom and instability outside within the asylum you're there involuntarily like nobody in our cast actually chose to be there you have the men in different wards to the women where you have um, people living outside in unmarried couples like Lewis and his girlfriend Lucy men and women are starkly desire, um, divided Doug makes that crack about it's hard to practice free love in here you know it is very much kind of boys on one side of the hall and girls on the other side. Uh, C Ward is kind of the confined within the confined, people who are too dangerous to be let out. So you've got the freedom of outside and the lack of freedom inside, so there's that contrast. And then you look at the actual theatre group itself and you've got yet more dynamics going on. You've got gender tensions, you've got the um, Doug and Cherry fighting with each other constantly. You've got the fidelity thing coming up because you've actually got the vying for Lewis's attentions from both Cherry and to a certain extent Julie. And that that's not frivolous, you know, there's quite a bit of actual anxiety in that. And that there are actual um, still clashes going on there but they're not political. Oh, actually, there's one political clash which goes on, which is Henry, but all these clashes are on a much more personal level. And finally, you've actually got the world within Cosy, um, which is contrasted against all of these others where fidelity and gender relations are basically the heart and soul of that play. So the reason that Naura does this is so that he can give us the contrast between the two things. It also gives us, oh sorry, between things. So we can look at how fidelity works in the play and in the theatre group and in wider society. And he can have constant themes going through about what's important and, you know, how you should spend your time and so forth. So that's the main reason I think that he does these things is to provide contrast and also to provide consistency for those things that he thinks kind of are eternal themes. And you get the impression that he does think that love and fidelity are always important sort of no matter what the political context anyhow so that's um, enough of me talking about that and I hope that was useful